Hello again YouTube. I'm back again with my SRM 1216 shotgun which I, I just posted a video on it yesterday um, detailing some problems. <clears throat> but there's a new problem that I just discovered I really just noticed uh, as I was gathering up my shells that I used to shoot. Um, day before yesterday I guess it was when I shot the first thing I shot the first thing I shot out of this firearm after I've got it back there got it from the factory. Didn't get it back from the factory because this is a new one. Um, shot these four federal uh, rifle slug, one ounce loads. And um, two of them were sort of old. The other two are newer. I didn't notice that they were different when I, before I, when I was shooting them just afterwards. But this one, you see there's a little problem here. The end blew right off of it. <clears throat> now, I attributed that to just being old I'd carried it around in the, on the buttstock of my shotgun, my other shotgun, for a decade or two. And it had been cycled through the action a bunch of times, and the extractor had chewed it up a little bit. So I thought, well, it just blew up because of that. Um, this one looks okay, and this one does not. This one is bulged. This is sort of crowned on the end. Um, so there's one more. Where did it go? I'm trying to hide. So these two newer ones, put them together like this. They're sort of, they're still flat. They look okay. Um, anyway, I, I just ignored that. I thought it was a bad shell. So I fired these um, Winchester double A's. I lost a couple of the hulls. I didn't bother to dig them up. And I fired this whole box of Winchester Super X rifled slugs. Um, and these, I was just gathering these up to put them in the, my drawer for future reloading. And every one of these is bulged on the bottom. They were brand new, never been anywhere except in this gun. And I'll zoom in here and show you. But there's a substantial bulge on the bottom. I, I don't think that's acceptable for reloading. And the extractor took a nick out of every, every uh, rim too. So those were vis visibly bulged. <clears throat> every single one of them. So then I went and dug these out and looked at them. And most of these are bulged too. And all of these, these right here were fired through this one. Now these red shells, I fired through the one I sent back and they replaced it with this one. So these are um, mostly flat when I looked at them. I haven't compared every single one of them. But they look pretty flat. Uh, sometimes if you look at them critically like this, they might look like they're a little bulged around the rim. But I think that those will resize. Let me zoom in and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> Sorry about the constant throat clearing, but I've had a cold for two weeks. Alright, so here are Winchester Super X. You can see that just it's not flat anymore. They bulge. Let's put the, I don't have a Super X to put next to it, but here's a brand new uh, Winchester Target, AA Target. You can see that's still flat. Alright, so that's the Super X. And here are the, the AA. They're not flat anymore either. It just sort of rocks back and forth like it was, it was rounded out. And you see the Nick. Maybe turn it a little way so you can see it. There's a nick in the rim. Every single one of them has a nick in the rim from the extractor. So anyone out there that does reloading, let me know if this these can be reloaded. So here's a brand new Winchester double A's. It's nice and flat on the bottom. There's no rocking really to amount to anything. And the red ones, same Winchester double A. They just change the color of the case. And uh, of course this, oops, right there, just blew it right out. I should have picked up the, the other part to show you, but I didn't think of it at the time. And here's one that's bulged out. Has a nice crown to it. Now these two Federals, they seem to be just fine. I don't know, well, they're flat, relatively flat on the bottom. 
but this seems to have a little bit of a bevel to it now. I don't have any kind of a gauge to check them, and I don't have reloading equipment yet. So I, don't, I can't resize them and see what they look like. Okay. All right, well, that's just another gripe for, about this gun. Um, so I'm going to send this video and the one I just did uh, to SRM for them to look at. But if, if you guys, any of you out there, have a lot of experience reloading, let me know about these hulls and with the nick in them in particular. And the, if, they, if I can reload them when they're bulged, can I reload them when they're nicked? Um, these are the only shells I've saved for reloading. I just decided to start saving them. I was going to buy equipment later. I don't have any other ones from my 1100 to show you to see how those look. I forgot one thing. Um, when SRM test fired it, um, I assume that these are shells test fired in this gun. They sent them in this little sealed bag and I'm reluctant to open it up since I'm going to send it back. But in here there are four different brands of shells. We have Estate. I can't read it. It just says a state cartridge, 12 gauge, and then the blue one here is a something I can't read. Seven and a half shot low brass of some kind. Well, here's on the other side. It says it's a Rio target load, and then the this one right here here is a Fiocchi. That is a steel shot, 70 millimeter, one and one sixteenth ounce. And the last one is a Remington Super X um, nine pellet buckshot. So the Super X looks flat. The Fiocchi has a nice crown to it, pretty substantial crown. The blue cartridge, whatever that was, looks flat. The red cartridge looks flat. That looks like it has a steel base, though. So even the ones they sent me, there's a deformed brass in there. More fun.